become a more possible thing yeah. for people could do because they could go, you know what? Yeah, well, I'm going to have a part-time job doing something in the community, but also I'm really interested in helping out. And if I could just, yeah, join an organization and help out where I can and, and feel like I'm contributing to a bigger, more important thing than whatever they're doing in the day-to-day job that probably isn't feeling, yeah. making them feel connected and inspired to be part of something bigger. The crazy thing that it, it almost feels that uh, smaller groups have a higher chance establishing that universal basic income or basic security and than actual governments or even municipalities. Just given the, you know, the current crazy environment, I feel that you know, we as a group are way better equipped to accomplish that on a smaller scale than these giant you know, policy uh, vehicles that are very, very slow to, to move and have a lot of regulation and second order consequences attached to it. A lot of stuff to unbundle. All right, um, I'm gonna kick off the, the call because we're already uh, nine minutes in. So uh, this one should be quite short. Essentially, this is the last day before the deadline. And we're, we're really just working on packaging everything that we've done. And um, I don't think there are any like other priority items besides that. Uh, obviously, we're uh, working hard on integrating the GEO team uh, work into each of the teams. And each of the teams are working on that final notebook submission. Uh, I think we are having a healthy income of um, new people, which, were, which we are managing. Looks like we've got one in. Looks like we've got one new in the call today, Sean, if you want to come say hi. He's literally half an hour ago popped up and put his introduction in, so gives nice. him a chance to say hi if he wants. Hey, Welcome. yeah, I'm here. Uh, super excited to be part of the team. Sounds awesome. Nice. Welcome. Um, but yeah, so we have some progress on the coordinators, have some progress on communication stuff. Uh, we, I believe, finished the clips for the podcast and we just need someone to assemble uh, the final audio file. Um, hopefully that happens today or tomorrow and we can push it out. Again, super if, rough. If no, one else gets, if no one else gets that, I can do it if it's needed. Awesome. Yeah. And basically... Um, yeah, just iterating and figuring out this first minimum viable version of, of the podcast. Uh, we're all also constantly editing the website, adding new stuff as it comes. And yeah, let's jump in into the team reporting. I'll quickly remind the high level progress, uh, uh, the structure. Um, the structure is high level progress, quick summary and tasks in progress, um, and basically blockers because um, teams are working really hard on many different things and the blockers are, are becoming quite chaotic and very, very, uh, you know, uh, needy. So let's, let's figure out how to help teams as much as we can. And we're going to start with the first team risk factors. Maya, go ahead. And just quickly, if somebody can take some, some notes on the action items, I may have to, to, depending on how long the call goes, duck out early. So if somebody's able to, to do that, that would be great. I think Maya is actually working hard. Let, uh, I'll, I'll ping her. Daniel, uh, do you want to jump in from your team? Sure. So we finally were able to provide the finalized data sets for Italy to the data visualization team uh, yesterday, late evening, my time. Um, so morning, your time. Uh, so there we have demographic data, meaning uh, population, uh, age distributions, uh, sex distributions. We also have the area of the town, so this at at town level. Um, so it gives also population density uh, and meteorological data. Additionally, at the um, region level, um, we have uh, coronavirus cases, deaths, numbers of tests, and recovered patients, I think. And we have the mobility data from the Google reports. Um, 
now we're working to package all of these in one or two data sets that we can provide with the submission. I have to write down, uh, you know, a small document with uh, just the list of sources and what we have done with the data for aggregations. It's just, you know, kind of summing up and uh, this kind of basic stuff, but just to have a, a track of what was done to the data. And then I'll pass it over to, I guess, to you, Arthur, uh, to package it in with, with the rest um, of the submission. Sounds and good. yes, uh, I also, sorry? Sounds good. Yes, uh, we also have part of the team working on geodata from clinical trial. Dan Sosa provided this data set with uh, of articles that are actually clinical trial and uh, um, we are trying to make something of it if uh, if we have enough time but uh, it's uh, you know on very short time frame it's always very difficult to say if we manage to get something significant out of it uh, but if it's not for this first submission then it will be for the second one later on sounds great uh, all right uh, maya joined us uh, want to give us a quick update Oh, hi everybody. Uh, quick update. We've lost you. We can't hear you. Presentation uh, list that would be lovely if he does it. Like every. Maya, could you uh, could you restart because we cannot hear you. Is on summary. I don't think she hears us either. Hmm. Okay. Um, Sorry. Okay, we can hear you now. Can you hear us? Yes. Okay. Could you hear me before? I couldn't. And no. Achi, mostly not. No. So let's oh, try again. <laughs> so I was like kind of speaking a couple of minutes with myself. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's it's, start from the beginning. Yeah, so from the beginning. We are collecting the final notebook. Uh, that would be uh, the main uh, blockers that we have now is still annotations. Uh, Ansun, if you hear me, please make sure <laughs> that you put everything we've got from Pranjalia into for annotators. We have a, a file. Uh, Google Doc with all the outputs pinned in risk task channel. Uh, Kriti is now on the summary for all the uh, factors and she's noticed that actually after rerunning the results are good in some way and they are much worse in another way. So it was probably a mistake for us yesterday to suddenly pivot the approach. Uh, that was my bad decision, which basically causes us <laughs> kind of uh, um, additional stress, which, is, which happens, it's okay. Um, and uh, we have now uh, tables with uh, uh, stats from Thresher for each and every factor, we finish that. So basically we need some help just to put everything together kind of and uh, annotations uh, to be processed uh, and uh, we are fine. Um, how much more time do you need in annotation sense? Because I can throw some of my time out if you need just bodies. But do you understand medical articles? Because I read that, okay, and it's like Chinese and then like some letters, then numbers, and then like, what? Yeah, it's primarily well, medical annotators. Well, so. well, it, to, to be fair, to be fair, I've spent quite a lot of time with VT's set, and I was surprised how much I understood. There were some things, some lines, I was like, that might as well be written in Martian for all of the words I don't know in it. But the, the large majority of them, I've got a de pretty decent understanding of statements. So I, I'm, if nothing else, it's if I'm just offered. If if, I, if you don't think oh, I'm going to be any use, it's you fine. Know what? Um, I will ask then, uh, Amen to engage you if you can, because any help now, uh, taking the yeah, consideration, like, exactly. I, I mean, like, I've, 
I've probably spent 10 hours on the VT's set and I don't know if it's any different or if it's been filtered any differently, but I've, and I wasn't doing well, it like from the top down. I was already dealing with filtered versions yeah, of it. So I mean, I'm up it up if I can. I'm all, I'm, I, I, can I can help with nothing else. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, we'll let you guys uh, connect uh, after this call. So uh, the next team, uh, vaccines, Dan Sosa. Hey guys, um, just finishing up, polishing everything, and we're gonna make the VT Geo uh, collaboration workout. I'm just reading and catching up on the thread right now. Um, yeah, we, we sent out the product that we have for VT on the general channel. So if you guys check it out and have some feedback, we can incorporate some last minute feedback and you know stylistic things by the deadline today. So yeah. So yeah, for now. Yeah, I really enjoyed that visualization. I had a look around it earlier on. I was awesome. I was very proud of it. I was very proud of it. I was like, that was so cool. Awesome. <laughs> Did you guys figure out which option is the the winning one? Uh, yeah, the the one that had the majority. I think it was option A, the one that was like the lighter blue and not the green. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That that sounds great. Um, all right, so, and the last team is Transmissions team. And unfortunately, Christine is uh, not able to join us, but they're basically preparing and packaging the final notebook and uh, they don't have any blockers. So it's just a matter of time to finalize that notebook today. So other than that, um, do we have anyone from the data sets team joining us today? Brendan, Mike? All right. Uh, I think they're also f busy with uh, supporting the infrastructure and yeah, we'll probably um, have a more productive conversation on the, on the data sets infrastructure after we push through this initial uh, deadline. Sounds good. All right. Other than that, um, if anyone has any questions, um, if someone is new and confused or any other organizational questions, this is your time. We still have five minutes to, to bring those up. All right, very good then. So yeah, I, I highly encourage everyone to try to prioritize things and uh, figure out if, you know, the if it's worth spending time on, you know, creating new things, because we are at this stage of limited time frame, it's under uh, 24 hours that we have to prepare everything. So yeah, just uh, make sure that you use that heuristic of like, do you have time to deal with any unexpected, uh, you know, consequences of this new thing appearing and focusing on, on what you already have? Um, from probably Dan and Arta more than anyone, um, I've, I've made an org sheet, org page. If you can have a look through of it, see if it's good enough or if you want to change anything. Colors, obviously, anything like that's irrelevant. I kind of like it dark, but I pretty much like the whole internet dark. Everything's in dark mode for me, and that's kind of how I like it. If you don't want it that way, fine. <laughs> no problem at all. The visual, right? It's no, it's a, it's a, no not the viz stuff, the, the, la yes. the yeah. organization yeah. layout. Literally, like the old chart. I've made yeah. a new one. Yeah. In, in no, that's brilliant. Right? It's in the it's in Lucid charts. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just one sure right. if you got around to it yet. Because okay. I'm, I'm, I'm finished it off last night. And I've been no, I can't wait to see it. Again. Yep. It'll really be great to see. We'll take that we, out. Uh, we're, we're also we're, we're, we're playing with, I'm hoping by end of day that we'll have a, a D3 version that's live updating from our spreadsheet so that any time that we're making changes, I'm an aesthetic moron. So having what you've done so that we can try to sort of shape it around that, that will be fantastic. All right. Okay. So Tyler, Tyler where, where, where this can be found, the diagram? Um, I'm, I'll render it out. I just wanted sort of an opinion on it. I'll render it out as a PDF and I'll, um, I'll basically replace the old org chart with it. So it'll, it'll live on. It'll live I'm, on I'm just Trello, a little bit illiterate. Where, where can I find it? It'll be on the Trello boards in the resources. Okay, okay, I'll, put got it it. All, I'll put it into all of them or the Perfect. ones I can. No problem. And then I will uh, go do some annotations for the rest of the night because it looks like it's desperate <laughs> and then i've got ideas for branding and some youtube stuff and some communication stuff and i'll get to that that's like a lower lower order priority right now yep all right all right thanks guys thanks everyone for jumping in today uh shorter call today but also that's because of uh, necessity 
we need to get back to to packaging everything that we've amazingly created in the past uh, two weeks. Thank All right. you. All right. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks.